Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan, and today we're doing these two looks for St. Patrick's Day, both with green liner. Today I'm starting out with a little bit of concealer. I actually have on a little bit of foundation and brows from work today, so I'm just working in a little bit of that concealer around my eyes and around my mouth just to kind of touch up the coverage. And then I'm going to set that into place immediately over the concealing with a little bit of my Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder, and then I'm going to take a thin layer of this all over my face just to mattify any shine that has come about throughout the day. For blush, I'm using one of the Tarte Amazonian Clay blushes. I believe this color is called Captivating. It's a nice peachy shade, which is going to complement the green really well and work well with my skin tone. And I'm just applying that around the apples of my cheeks, center of the nose, and just kind of across the face. I'm creating this look with liquid liner. This is the Grandiose Liner from Lancome in the new green shade. This comes in a bunch of colors. I'm so excited about them. I bought a few, but I'm going to be using the green one today, obviously, because it's St. Patrick's Day. And I'm just applying a thin line of that across the eye to start. You can see that this is like a nice little pop of color, but nothing too fancy. But I'm actually going to be using this to kind of build up a little bit of a look around the eye. I'm going to be taking this underneath right in close to the lash line as well, just to kind of create a wrapped effect around the eye. But this tip is really great because as it dries out with this metallic formula, you can actually blend the edge out and it just kind of blends it as if you were using a, a typical brush, but the sponge tip applicator on this just... I don't know how to explain it, but you can see what's happening. It just blends it out really well. And then through the crease of my eye, I'm using the bronzer that I already have on my skin. This is the Marc Jacobs bronzer. And I'm just doing that to create a little bit of definition around the um, socket line of the eye. I think my eyes benefit from a little bit of that. And then for my lashes, I'm just using the Benefit Their Real Tinted Lash Primer. I'm using this solely because I'm going to be going over top of it with another mascara later, and I didn't want anything that was going to dry hard. I'm taking that on the lower lashes as well. And then for the lips, a little combo, I'm using the Buxom, the big plump line lip liner in the shade Incognito. And then right over top of that, I'm using Revlon uh, Pink in the Afternoon, which is a beautiful peachy shade like the blush. And that is the first look. Great for work. It's wearable. Still some green. I have to wear all black to work. This is what I'm going to be wearing to work tomorrow. But of course, we're going to build this up for something a little bit more dramatic. So I'm actually taking that liner all the way across the lid for a metallic shine. And like I said, this blends out with the tip of the brush. Then I'm going to go back to that bronzer just to start defining the crease a little bit more. And then I'm actually going to go in with a darker grayish brownish color. This is from Bourjois. And I'm just applying that right into the crease line of the eye and blending out the edge of that green eyeliner. I'm going to reapply and blend and reapply and blend as much as necessary to build this up to the level of the color that I want. And then of course I'm going to take a little bit of that on the lower lash line as well to blend out any of that green liner down there. And then I'm going to switch to the black version of the liquid liner, the Grandiose Original Black. And I'm going to be taking this in a wing across the upper lash line. I won't lie, this is not my best work when it comes to wings ever. But I still wanted to put this up because I wanted to show you how you can sort of fix a wing and kind of make it work even on top of eyeshadow. So I'm just thickening up and attaching it to the lower lash line because it was a little bit lower than I wanted it to be. So this makes it look a little bit more intentional. And then I'm just smoothing out the dip of the line right where it connects onto the eye. And I think it ends up looking rather nice actually. I also want to show that I kind of messed up here. You can see it on my eyes. Um, but I got a little bit of the black liner where I didn't want it. And then I had to go in back with the green liner and just smooth out the edge, which works really well when you're working with liquid products. Finishing off look two with a coat of thickening black mascara, both on the tops and bottoms, and then a little bit more of that lip, and that is look two. I hope that you all enjoyed this. I know it's going up a little bit late. It's going up on actual St. Patrick's Day, um, but I hope you all enjoyed it anyways, and I hope that maybe you'll implement this look on today or any other day. I think green is a great color and complements a lot of eyes. Um, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please click on the icon of my face on the right side of the screen to be subscribed, and check out the playlist that I have linked on the left side, and I will see you all next time. Bye!